his first penalty of the game. The Super Bowl, the game that every football fan waits for all season long. Some, however, look forward to it for an entirely different reason. For the advertising business, the Super Bowl is the biggest night of the year. For the last 15 years, Robert Colt, an advertising instructor at Michigan State University, hosts a Super Bowl party for the Communication Arts and Sciences advertising faculty. The faculty and staff come together to not only watch the game, but to judge and score the advertisements. We really look at an ad, whether or not it's creative, good production quality and value, whether or not it's going to be memorable long after the game. After a commercial break, everyone uses their eye clicker to vote on the quality of each commercial, with A being the highest quality and E being the lowest. We can make a judgment, record it, and it's really good research to be able to tell how people instantly react to an ad. But that reaction comes at a high price for marketers. They're renting 30 seconds to reach over 100 million people. It's the only place you can do it. In addition to the ad's production costs, MSU advertising professor Bruce Vanderberg says a 30-second advertisement during the Super Bowl this year cost companies $3.5 million to air. But he says the price tag is worth paying. So you divide the three and a half million, you know, into the 160, and then you, you know, you'll get a few, you know, few dollars per person or whatever it is. So what makes a good Super Bowl ad? You know, monkeys, babies, animation, characters, humor, all of that stuff will really be successful. I guess that held true this year because the faculty voted Skechers Dog Race ad as the number one ad of the Super Bowl. For Focal Point, I'm Victoria Marzak.